Hey, what is up guys? It's Stan here back with another video. In this one, I'm gonna talk about SSD endurance and longevity and some of the things that may impact the lifespan of your SSD and you might not even realize. Now, if you follow my channel, you already know that I picked up several 980 Pros a few months back and I absolutely love those drives. They've been very, very fast, very consistent, and they're PCIe 4.0 drives. A little bit on the pricey side, but they certainly do perform. I bring that up specifically because several days ago when I opened up Samsung Magician, I noticed that I had a significant number of gigabytes already written to the drive. Uh, this was a little bit alarming because it was such a large number of data written to the drives already in a, such a short span of time. And I guess to understand why it's such a big deal, we need to talk about endurance and longevity. So there's a few things we need to talk about uh, before we get into that. The first is the acronym TBW, which stands for terabytes written. And it's a measure of how much data has already been written to the drive. Now, why is that important? Well, SSDs are not infinite in their longevity because, uh, and you might already know a little bit of something about this, but in short, there's a lifespan on the SSD and that is greatly impacted by how much data has been written to the drive. Uh, as more data is written to the drive, the cells in the NAND flash can potentially fail. And as more data is written to the drive, it's more of a wear item and more cells fail. Now this is perfectly normal. Uh, and drives are normally designed in a way that has over provisioning and additional cells for these cells to fill and they just mark it off and uh, the drive continues to work, just no realizing that those cells are no longer good anymore. Once you get to a critical point, however, when too many cells fail, then the drive starts spitting out errors and at that point, the drive is no longer, no longer good or no longer stable. So manufacturers give a drive a rating that's based off of TBW or terabytes written on how long they think the drive is good for or how long they're gonna be covering the drive under warranty. Uh, and there's a lot of intricacies about the technology of the flash, uh, the SLC or single layer cells, the you know, double layer, triple layer, the more layer cells, the less endurance. There's a lot of things to consider, but the point is there is a limit to the number of times a cell can be written to or the amount of data that can be written to a drive. The reason why I bring this up is because uh, those 980 Pros, the one terabyte version has a limit of about 600 terabytes. Now, if I recall, the two terabyte drives have a larger capacity of 1,200 terabytes. Now, to bring it all back here, the reason why I bring this up again is because when I opened up Samsung Magician, I noticed that I had 29.5 terabytes already written to the drive in three months. That kind of blew my mind because I've only got about 370 gigabytes total of data on this drive. How the heck does it write 20 or nearly 30 terabytes worth of data? Now, of course, you clicked on this video, you already know based on the title of this video that this is because of Nvidia Shadowplay. Uh, if you're not aware or if you haven't used NVIDIA Shadowplay, it's a software that's bundled with the graphics card that allows you to record your gameplay footage um, and retrieve it whenever. So uh, actually Shadowplay works in a way that it constantly records and you can clip 10, 15, up to 20 minutes of footage on the fly because it's constantly recording and have that saved to a file so you can retrieve it. In my gaming sessions, I absolutely love NVIDIA Shadowplay. Uh, it allows me to retrieve footage of when people make mistakes in our gaming sessions um, and come up with new strategies in both WoW and Final Fantasy. Those are the two main games I play. So if you can imagine Raiden, you can see who really messed up by rewinding the clock and pulling that video file. So that's something I keep running in the background at all times. But you have to realize if it's constantly recording, there is a significant amount of data being dumped to the drives because of that. 
And so how much are, is it actually using? First up, I've got Samsung Magician pulled up here and you can see that the drive is in good condition with 29.5 terabytes written and the benchmark numbers are all good. Now, if I tab over to performance here, this is the real time performance or activity for the drive. And you can see that I'm right in uh, 20 megabytes per second at a time in little bursts. And it's constantly running with the game running in the background, right? And it's just going and going and going with 20 megabytes bursts all the time. Pulling up GeForce Experience's overlay here with a game running in the background, you can see we've got the instant replay option turned on. Uh, and of course you can manually record, but I wanna focus in more on the instant replay. So to take a look at the settings here, let me turn it off and pull up the settings. Uh, you have an option to uh, record 10, 15, 20 minutes of video. This is only gonna affect the file size uh, what's going to affect the bit rate or the amount written to the drive is going to be the quality. So uh, based on the quality that you choose, the bit rate is going to change. And currently I've got it set to about 100 megabits per second. 100 megabits per second is approximately 12.5 megabytes per second. So you can see every second it's you know it's recording at 12.5 megabytes per second. Uh, you saw that the drive was writing about 18 to 20 megabytes per second. So that's why you've got those bursts of, of writes. So it's being cached in the memory and then being written to the disk. So there's those burst writes. Now I can certainly decrease the bit rate from what I've got right here to high to medium. Um, it works just fine. However, at a high resolution, the, at a lower bit rate, the, the picture starts to look not as good. So that's why I've got it set to high. Uh, again, the uh, file size and the amount I'm writing isn't actually that big of a concern. It was just surprising to me, but again, it's not that big of a deal. Now, if you crunch the math here, about 100 megabits per second is approximately 15 gigabytes every 20 minutes. So in about an hour's worth of gameplay, you're writing 45 gigs to the drive. Uh, and, and let's say you have a three hour gaming session, right? That's 130 gigabytes of data being written to the drive. Now, of course, you're not actually saving those video clips. It's being written and it's constantly being deleted so that you don't fill up your drive, you know, very quickly. At 135 gigs for three hour session, and let's just assume that you play, you know, seven days a week, right? At three hours a day times seven, that's almost one terabyte of data being written for that entire week. And then, you know, you escalate that out 52 weeks, about 50 terabytes worth of data, 52 terabytes worth of data being written to the drive. So big picture wise, you know, that's actually not too bad. However, where you might start running into issues is, is if you play a lot of hours in a day or you have the game running in the background and you're doing other things. You know, I'm working from home most of the time. I sometimes have a game running in the background. You know, I'm not actually playing it, but it's it's running. And when it's running, it's constantly saving, you know, footage. So if you're running, let's say a game, six hours, eight hours at a time, and you're doing work or doing whatever, and it's turning away, or you have, not maybe not a game, but you have something else that's 3D intensive and it's triggering Nvidia's uh, shadow play and it's recording, you know, that's where you potentially run into hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes of data being written. Now, bringing back to my scenario again, 30 terabytes in three months, so 10 terabytes a month, you know, if you do the math, it, it's only several hundred gigabytes a day. It, that's actually all, not all too bad. Um, and given the endurance of my drives, that's not gonna be an issue. Where you have an issue is if you have a lower quality drive, and let's just give an example. Let's say the MX Crucial 500 is a drive that came out a couple years ago. Uh, it's a relatively popular drive, and it did pretty well for its time. And this drive has a relatively low uh, TBW rate, rating. It's not significantly low, but it's not you know very high performing. For example, a 500 gig drive, right, 
is only rated for 180 TBW. A one terabyte drive is only rated for 360 TBW. So let's say you have a 500 gig SSD and you're running your games and you are in my situation where you have written 30 terabytes in three months. If your total write uh, before failure or the TBW is rated at, at 180, right? 30 divided by 180, that's 16% of your drive already gone. At the rate that I'm writing, in a little bit over a year on that 500 gig drive, you would use up your full allotment of 180 terabytes. So that's kind of that's kind of scary, especially when um, you know this drive is good for what five years at a, a rating of 98 gigs per day. You know you're clearly blowing past that 90, 95 gigs or 98 gigs per day if you're running something like Shadowplay at a high bit rate. So Shadowplay isn't the only culprit of writing a lot of data to the drive. If you're running OBS, if you're a streamer, but also recording video, right? You're recording a lot of gameplay. Uh, you know, AMD also has their own video gaming recording software. Uh, it all, it's all to the same effect. If you're writing constantly to the drive from you know, recording gaming or gameplay, then you're gonna be writing a lot of data. So, uh, you know, before you go ahead and turn off Shadowplay and say, oh, I'm never gonna use it because it's gonna kill my SSD, I would just take a look at what bitrate you're writing at um, and, and what kind of endurance do you have on your drive? You know, you might have a drive that's a SLC drive or a very high endurance drive that's not gonna be an issue, right? Or you might have a drive that's much worse than this and, and you might wanna be a little bit more careful. So it's really, this video is really just to kind of educate you guys to make you realize that uh, something like Shadowplay can potentially write a lot of data to the drive. Um, and you know, something that you might wanna mitigate if that really is a concern to you. You could potentially decrease the bit rate, you could potentially point the storage files to a mechanical hard drive if you want. Uh, although retrieving and playing back those files is gonna be a little, little bit slower, but hey, you know what? There's always a little bit of trade-off everywhere, right? Whatever, regardless of what you do. So I didn't wanna be alarmist, but certainly being educated and being aware of what's going on is not a bad thing. Now, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and in the comments down below, tell me what drive you're using and are you using something like Shadowplay or is there another software that you're using? And uh, is this even a concern to you guys? Am I just, just going off on a tangent here and you really don't care about this? As always, my name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.